Hey Tay, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to join my family. And if you have been here for a while, thank you so much for coming back for another video. We are gonna be cooking one of these home chef meals and then just tidying up my kitchen because it's not in bad shape. So if you need some cleaning motivation or you just wanna see what I'm cooking from Home Chef, let's keep watching. All right guys, so tonight we are making the cheese ravioli and mushroom marinara with zucchini and parsley. And it has the pre-cooked mozzarella cheese ravioli, marinara sauce, zucchini, red pepper flakes, mushrooms, Parmesan cheese, parsley, and some garlic salt. The only thing that I needed to add was olive oil. They have the five step instructions on the back of the card, as well as a little thing that says before you cook. I did not read the card very well, and so I did a couple things backwards, but I took it out of the video. But y'all, it's real life. This is after work, and we're tired, but we're getting it done because we gotta eat. So, let me know in the comments down below, what are you guys having for dinner? single video that I'm cooking with this skillet but I love this skillet with my whole heart y'all it's from Costco it is heavy duty the tea fowl one it's so deep you can do a lot of one pot meals and it does not get damaged it is just perfect for any and everything you need to do so if you don't have one go pick you up one it's only like 20 bucks <music> My son was in the background talking about, Mom, are you sure this is enough for two people? I swear, y'all. I mean, he just turned 12 last week, but he eats and eats and eats. And I know he's a growing boy, but y'all, I'm gonna need a second job just to pay for his food. so good right now and when I put the cheese on top and it starts to melt it was even better looking it tastes so good I think if I did this again I would definitely add a protein like maybe some chicken or maybe some steak
All right, y'all, so I sat down on the couch and dug in and took me a little siesta, but now it's time to get this kitchen cleaned up so I can really get in the bed and go to sleep and feel good about it. So I always start by decluttering my countertops, moving all the dishes over to this counter so I can wash them up. Tonight I decided to just hand wash because it's not that many dishes and most of those dishes I don't even put in the dishwasher so it would have been a waste and if I'm really honest y'all, my dishwasher is full of clean dishes because I just haven't put them away. So don't judge me. If you got something to say, just come over and help me and then we can go. My son usually cleans up his homework stuff but he was working here until about eight o'clock at night and so he was super tired he came and sat with me on the couch and fell asleep so i just sent him up to bed and uh, got up and began to clean everything up so i just put his stuff over by the stairs and in the morning he will go ahead and take care of everything but i did put his chromebook in his backpack because i didn't want him to forget that at home because they, they use them on a daily basis at his school dishes y'all it didn't take that long but I think because they were bigger items and I wanted to make sure that they were clean that I went over them again and again and again just making sure that everything was good so you know that's the trade-off versus using my dishwasher
these textured countertops are going to be the death of me they are so difficult to clean and you have to really hold on to your rag and wipe them really good otherwise it'll roll it right out of your hand um, I cannot wait till I can change these out to granite countertops but in the meantime we gonna make it do what it do For my stove top, I am using my Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and just giving it a quick wipe down just because we had some, you know, popping up some grease, etc. Um, and I still love the Jaws Cleaner as well, but I just kind of go back and forth between the two. I told y'all about this Jaws glass cleaner and I'm still loving it with my whole heart. It just makes everything so crystal clear, so street free, and so easy. I don't know, I'm gonna have to stock up big time on this. watching and if you made it to the end you are the real mvp leave me a comment down below and let me know what you did i appreciate y'all coming back for another cook and clean with me video if you like these type of videos make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below subscribe to my channel if you aren't and i'll see you in